On this episode of Cash Canada, we'll be visiting Sicily and Tunisia. Our journey starts in the catacombs of Palermo. That was pretty creepy, wasn't it? Well, we sure wish we could have taken the video with us, but weren't allowed to video inside. So now we're coming up to a traditional geocache. So hopefully we can get this one pretty quick. We're ahead of most of the group, so we'll see if we can get it before they get here. It's magnetic, so it's either, well, it must be on that box down there. Down on the wall. Oh, are we at zero? No, we're, we bounce around ten. Oh, ten. We're at six. Yeah. And it's magnetic. I'm hoping it's not in that garbage yet. Ta-da! I found the first one. Woohoo! <laughs> Finally, I found one and not just videoed somebody finding it. <laughs> I did. They did. No, is it? Yes. We let them find it. The birthday Me. boy did it. Me. Oh yeah, it's my birthday. Here's your birthday present. <laughs> Woohoo! And happy birthday to you. And 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 you. We didn't go looking for him the next time. He came back out the same path to the opening where he can look across the lawn and we're sitting on the deck. Next up, we're doing a uh, earth cache, and this has four locations we have to go to. First one is in the middle of the park that gets us away from most of the loud traffic. And one thing you discover very quickly here in Palermo is that it's very loud. In the center of the park, we got a picture of ourselves to make sure that we were in the location. We had our names and the date as well. We used one of our phones to do that rather than a piece of paper. Now we're going on to a second location and it looks like little boxes where soldiers would stand and they're made out of limestone. Does it open? Oh, look at that. That's cool. I will lock you in. There you go. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Every now and then in Palermo, you might bump into another vlogger. Fancy meeting a vlogger here from BC. Hey, How are you? Happy birthday. There, thank you so much. <laughs> well, are you out and about doing caches? We're, Just doing your own thing? We're doing our own thing. We enjoyed the catacombs. Absolutely amazing. Nice. Uh, too bad we couldn't take any video there. I know. <laughs> we have to add that later in post. Yeah. Yes. Yep. But um, yeah. just doing some of these earth caches. We did a big loop. Uh, yeah. We've done a bunch of traditionals making our way up to the catacombs and mm -hmm. now we're heading back down towards the water. Nice. And uh, I think when we get down there, uh, there's another unique um, this obscure site that I want to check out oh, before more we fingers? head back. No fingers this no time. Fingers? <laughs> no fingers this time. It's uh, ancient graffiti scrawled by prisoners of the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, very cool. So that sounds kind of interesting. Yeah. Right. Keeping with the theme of death and dismemberment. I here. hope you find it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to have a location for an earth cache, what better way to do it than this? Wow, that's awesome. After Charles V's conquest of Tunis, the emperor entered the city through this gate in September 1535. In order to commemorate this event, the gate was rebuilt in a more sumptuous style. The original gate was built in the 15th century. Next up, a meetup at the Palermo Cathedral. 
We spotted several friends in the square and we sidled up to them and compared notes of the day. Several members of our crews had gone inside to check out the cathedral. I mistakenly call it a citadel. And this is one very impressive citadel. Uh, it's very, very ornate, beautiful, and another stop for an earth cache. The original church was erected in the year 1185. The building was expanded and built upon in the 14th and 15th centuries. The present neoclassical appearance dates from the late 16th century. Well, that was quite impressive and uh, very busy. The architecture is just amazing. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. And uh, we're going to move on to another earth cache. And maybe, is there an adventure lab there we can do? There is one on the way. Awesome. Let's go get it. It's so interesting now today is a holiday that we can walk down the center of the street. Or can we always do that here? Without getting run over. Yeah. And the street is so, you could see all the way down to the harbor. It's so far away and so cool. On our first Adventure Lab stop, you have to count what? How many figures are on the facade? Yeah, on the facade of the building. And it's not in the front door like we thought. Check this out. That's cool. Moving on down the street. We completed the Adventure Lab, even though this location had our heads spinning. Back onto the ship, we set sail for Tunisia. We were now in Africa, a new continent for us, complete with camels. Exploring the many ruins, it felt like we were with Indiana Jones in Egypt, looking for the lost ark. Much of that footage was shot right here in Tunisia. We were now in this large Roman bath complex. These Roman baths were built in the second century and is now part of an archaeological park. This is where it felt like we were with Indiana Jones as we searched the grounds for elements of the earth cache located here. We're down into the baths and we're checking out the answers, trying to get as close as we can to ground zero. 
and get the answers up on the columns, which are just above us. And are we going to have a bath together? Oh my gosh, I think so. Group yeah, bathing. I, I wouldn't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Too much information. And it, the description does say you have to give it a good feel. Oh, look at that smooth. You're supposed to do the rough part. The rough part, okay. Oh my gosh. Smooth where J caches have been? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Feel this side, this part right here, baby smooth. Baby bum smooth. I don't feel baby's bums. Well, I have. I have two. <laughs> The geocachers were all given some free time to wander around and they all took advantage of it as they're trying to find the many pieces of the earth cache and answer all of the different questions. And over here we have a uh, British geocacher and blogger called Land Monkey. And he's British busy. Columbian anyway. Yeah, he's uh, busy vlogging these stones. They're amazing. Look at these carvings. They're 2,000 years old and you can touch them. Yes, you can. Look at uh, that. We think you can touch them. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't touch the stones! <laughs> it is so cool to see um, the carvings of the marble and the sandstone and with inscriptions on it too. This is just amazing. Just so amazing. And we're glad that you can join us here and check out this amazing site and that Cash Canada can bring it to you. And we're racing now for a traditional cache. This was unplanned, and a few of us are jumping off the bus to get it. And here we go. We hope we can find it. It's in the ruins. And we're going as fast as we can. Anybody that space. plays the game this can play the geocache. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Everywhere. Is. Okay. Thanks, pal. Thank you. So I'm now found yeah. it. That is a beautiful day here in Tunisia. We can't believe what we actually were able to see, do, and experience. I'm right here with my buddy Roy. I'm just so happy. That's 58 with oh, log signs. Holy doodle. 